right here TKO shrimp under a cork beautiful trout we're getting into the fall but it's still pretty warm but what we're gonna do today is we're fishing over grass beds we're just gonna be trying spots with grass that's the green trout oh Simba watch some troubles Got Mr. Green Trout right here. Very common to run across some bass whenever you're fishing over these grass beds. Hadn't really been a really good bass year this year. Hadn't caught many of these. I think Ida put some paint on them, but throwing a little top water too. Matrix mullet, the bass, the trout, everything. They love them. Great bait to locate the fish with right at sun, uh, you know, daylight and sunset hours. That's what we're doing right now. Got some trailer baits like the cork and some small jig heads uh, in case they're smacking at this and missing. Got that bass on that. swimming a eighth ounce golden eye or actually a bull's eye over the grass right now got very thick vegetation right here so go with my lightest jig head the eighth ounce Put your favorite matrix or vortex on there I'm just slow rolling it right over that grass feel that grass grab it just give it a little rip it'll rip through it most of the time Break this, I saw him eat it. Big Jack. I don't want to lose all my line. I don't feel like fighting this animal. And I promise you, it was a big jack, about a 25 pounder. Ate it right at the troller motor. Woo! Break that up in a second. I was just slow rolling that eighth ounce with a midnight mullet on, and I saw that jack come out of nowhere. Hit the lure right at the trolling motor. It scared me. <laughs> simply push that hook back through the hole and what this is it's a quarter ounce 
weight in the bottom of there. It's like a counterweight, so when you pop it, it's gonna go pop, 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 and when you pause it, it's gonna slowly fall back down. And I recommend on your leader to go with a, a big, a bigger line. That's gonna make it fall slower, gives it a better presentation. Like I, I got a 17 pound test right here. I always go about two to three foot below the cork, just depending on how deep the water is. Just throwing it over the grass, using that purple TKO now. need you measuring stick it's that September October around here and you're fishing them trout over the grass beds it's a lot of schoolies you get on that purple TKO nice little trout you put this on the measuring board about a quarter inch short Let that little guy go you're like what that's a piece of what we're fishing right there. That's called eel grass. They got a couple different styles of grass in here right now, but that's some of my favorite, the eel grass. The trout love to get over that. Anywhere I've ever fished in the Gulf Coast, that's a great, great habitat for speckled trout to be hanging out on. Let's get this thing back in the water. Just wanna make real long casts. Try to get it over that grass that rod tip down, pop that cork. What happens is that cork is gonna make a sound like a shrimp skipping out the water, running from another fish, and it just gets the fish's attention. So not only do you have one of their senses on seeing the bait, now they also are gonna hear that splash. That'll get their attention. They look it around, they'll see that TKO, and down goes the cork. another type of grass vegetation that's in here this is like a long hairy stringy grass also very good when you can find that in the fall early fall that's what those fish are liking find that grass find the fish in september and october and what's going to happen as temperatures get a little bit cooler you'll see these trout grow up you won't have as many throwbacks and then when it gets a little bit colder than that, they're going to get off this grass and get onto the structures in the Pontchartrain Basin, such as the bridge. And the bridge is. But the last several years, September and October, they're looking for grass. Ida took a lot of our grass beds, but there's still enough around to target them this time of year. But uh, it's not as much grass as that we're used to in this area. monkey we talked about this earlier the bass of the trout only in Louisiana you see that where they hanging out together all right guys this grassy pocket here it had some fish some throwbacks a little bit of action not enough to keep us here all morning we can go make a move see if we can find some more fish on some more grass and see what we can do
All right, change locations, similar results. Went to the clear TKO this time. That one's close, pretty skinny fish, let that one go. Again, just sitting over another grass bed area. Got a lot of vegetation on the bottom. The water's high, so you can float these lures right over that grass. This is what the specs like. On the schoolies right now. That's part of it. Got to weave through the throwbacks this time of year. vegetation on a whole lot of it this time. Thanks to this one. Look at that puppy right there. On that clear. That clear TKO. So we've used a multiple different colors of the TKO. Called multiple different species. That's our trout of the day right there. And these are the ones that'll come up and hit top water. They'll hit the jerk baits, the hard baits. This is what we're looking for right there. Baby. That one will make the team too. If my dog don't bite its tail off. I tell you, these dogs here, these are characters. When I first got these two little dogs, we got them as babies. Their first couple trips on the boat, they got seasick. They were throwing up in the boat. I was like, what did I get myself into? Now, as they're one year old, I can't get them off the boat. They love it. Another spec for the box. A little rascal. My hand was starting to get tired from popping that cork so I just switched to the eighth ounce bullseye on a midnight mullet this works great also over the grass just want to bomb it out there and then just start reeling if you feel like grass grab the hook just simply rip it pop it off Another good one. Simba. Simba, give him a break. Simba. Another good one, guys. Look how much he choked that matrix down. All the way back of the throat. You're not going to miss many like that. Another beautiful trout. Slow rolling. That matrix on an eighth ounce jig head. It's our bullseye series. We got these in gold, black, red. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Started off throwing top water at daylight. Switched to the uh, TKO shrimp in multitude of colors. End of the day, slow rolling the matrix shed and the midnight mullet on an eighth ounce jig head. All of these items will be in your monthly bait box coming up, including the hat I'm wearing today. We also had this in a white and blue. You're gonna get a matrix hat along with these items we were using. Come out here, guys, catch some nice trout like this. Fall time, Louisiana fishing. Till next time, guys.
good fishing and subscribe to this YouTube channel.